In a resolute pursuit of aviation innovation, NASA has selected Boeing's transonic truss braced wing concept for its sustainable X-plane program. This remarkable partnership aims to reshape the future of flight, harnessing advanced aerodynamics and structural ingenuity to enhance efficiency and reduce environmental impact. By pushing the boundaries of aircraft design, this collaboration promises to propel the industry toward a more sustainable and technologically advanced era of air travel. More than a decade of joint investigation lies behind NASA's January 18th selection of Boeing for a public-private partnership to develop a full-scale experimental aircraft to validate the low-drag transonic truss-braced wing concept for potential use on future single-aisle airliners. NASA has signed a funded Space Act agreement with Boeing, under which is it to provide $425 million in funding through milestone payments, while Boeing and its industry partners contribute $725 million. A year-long flight test campaign is planned to begin at NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center, California in 2028. The Sustainable Flight Demonstrator SFD program gives Boeing a public response to the multiple technology demonstration projects Airbus has launched with funding from European governments and its industry partners. These range from long-span wings and open rotor engines to hybrid and hydrogen propulsion. The award is not a surprise, as NASA and Boeing have been working together on the high aspect ratio of transonic truss braced wing TTBW configuration for almost 15 years. Selection of the SFD was a competition, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says, but Boeing's proposal was by far the best. NASA declines to identify the other bidders. Boeing's proposal outlined a possible future family of single-aisle TTBW aircraft, the VS-1 and VS-2, for vision system, based on the MD-90 fuselage, the smaller VS-1 seats 130 to 160 passengers, while the 180 to 210 seat VS-2 has a bigger wing and engines, using one wing and engine size for both variants would have unacceptably penalized the smaller aircraft, Boeing says. The TTBW is a long slender wing structurally braced by trusses that also generate lift, increasing span reduces lift-induced drag, and the TTBW span is about 50% longer than the cantilever wing on an equivalent conventional single-aisle airliner, says Mike Sinnott, Vice President and General Manager for Product of Development at Boeing Commercial Airplanes. The wing design alone is expected to reduce fuel burn by up to 10% compared with the conventional cantilevered wings on today's most efficient single aisles. When combined with advanced propulsion, composite structures, and other technologies, the TTBW is expected to reduce fuel consumption and emissions by at least 30% for an aircraft entering service in the 2030s, NASA says. The goal of the SFD program is to validate the benefits of the TTBW concept at the aircraft level. Whether Boeing will then use the configuration for a future single aisle will depend on the success of flight tests, but the scale of the industry investment, combined with the $110 million it has already spent on TTBW development, indicates that Boeing is optimistic about the design, Senate says. Airbus has said it plans to make a decision by 2028 on development of a new aircraft to enter service in 2035. Based on that time frame, a first flight of NASA's SFD in 2028 would allow the TTBW configuration to be considered for use by Boeing in a next-generation single-aisle entering service in 2035 to 2040. NASA's objective is funding. The SFD is to help aviation achieve its goal of reaching net zero emissions by 2050, NASA Associate Administrator Robert Pierce says. Over that time, the concept has evolved from a wing optimized to fly at Mach 0.745 to save fuel to a higher sweep design optimized for the Mach 0.8 cruise speed of today's narrow bodies. Early testing validated that bracing the slender wing structurally with struts minimized the weight penalty and made the concept feasible. Later tests focused on low speed, high lift performance and transonic buffet. A more flexible and hands-off approach has been chosen for the SFD program, one of only a handful of funded Space Act agreements signed by NASA. In an effort to ensure the TTBW crosses the valley of depth and transitions from the research into product development, Kobli says. If you found today's video informative, please show your support by giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications for future updates. We would love to hear your thoughts on the recent NASA picks Boeing's transonic truss-based wing for sustainable X-plane. Let us know your opinions and any questions you may have in the comment section below. Your engagement is valuable to us.